you know, no, no, no. That's just no. That's just don't finesse. Do I like the way you look. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What up, Yvonne? What's poppin'? Come, come now, you're sitting here. Where's the Ipan Coco? <laughs> Ipan Coco. Ipan Coco. And, uh, and F -F what have you eaten so far since you came? Ipan Coco with a lot of, a lot of um, Ifi. Ifi? Okay. Ifi, and I had, uh, what do you call it again? Um, don't tell me he's out. What? Ipan soup and pounded yam. That's what's up. All of it was dope. Uh, Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Azine Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to the channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Yes, guys, I know it's been a while you guys heard my voice. Honestly, I've been meaning to do a video, but I mean, sometimes you just don't get the drive or the motivation to actually say this. Like, we always come here and we are like happy and everything, but sometimes um real life really gets to us so sometimes you just have to like you know what just shut down yeah but i mean i've been trying to keep you guys up to date you know with some of the things that are happening with your face but today we are going to be analyzing stuff yes but before we do that so there is this chef or cook she's from i think aquaibom state in nigeria and she is trying to break the guinness world record of the longest um time of cooking yes i think the record the one the person that's holding the current record um is an indian who cooked for 87 hours 45 minutes and hilda that's her name is trying to break this record in lagos like i've been following her she started like is it yesterday or the day before yesterday? I'm not sure. She's about 30 something hours in, if I'm not mistaken. Like, I'm rooting for her because this babe has not slept and this is really, really massive. I'm giving her, like, I've been there shouting all my support for her. And yeah, I mean, I, I want her to win this because cooking for that long stretch it's not it's not it's it's not easy i beg if i cook for like two hours i don't try anyways guys um away from that so your girl yvonne i love to call her the dollar queen of the big brother titan because this babe has really impressed me and i said it one time during the show that if there's any way i will support yvonne i will and she has shown me that you know what that she deserves all the love and support yes guys so she had her homecoming I mean, it started yesterday. It's going to stretch up till the 14th of this month, which is like tomorrow. Um, she was later to go with um, Yemi and Kanaga Jr. Somehow, Kanaga Jr. came late. He later joined them, though. Um, she and Yemi joined the private jet. Like, this is the first time I'm seeing a homecoming from Big Brother that is having, like, a private jet. Normally, they take the normal flights. But no, Yvonne has to be different. I mean, she's been hosted by her state government by different like top companies and personalities in Aquaibon for representing you know her state and her culture very well at the big brother titan yes guys so she was welcomed with this whole box of cash you know there was a lot of traditional dance going on yemi was having the time of his life you know and they had like a dinner and they also went to the club to party now during the um i think it was the dinner or something so the mc was like you know what yemi you have to tell us who was your real girlfriend in the house and this was what yemi had to say listen one question who is your real girlfriend in that house focus focus i beg no better you've got to beg you who be your main chick her name is yemi curtis Then he said, you know what? Ah, devil, not today. You are not going to put me in trouble. And he answered him and said, the only one that was Yemi's real girlfriend in the house is Yemi Krex. I'm like, okay, this is cool. I mean, I've noticed that Big Brother Titan guys are not really shipping guys. I mean, they are not giving an impression or trying to use shipping as their content. And which is good. I mean, if there is no um real relationship, there is no 
point trying to lie to your fans that there is a relationship. Meanwhile, there is none. Yes, guys. Now, away from that. So, Kosi was on Twitter space. You know, she interacted with her fans and all that. Kosi is like, you know what? Love and light. Like, love and light. Like, no matter the trolling and everything, let bygones be bygones. No matter who said what or who did what, you know, it's all love and light from her end. Listen to her. Obviously, are funny. Like you know, they funny. But some of the things are just uncalled for. You don't. I don't care how much that person didn't like me or gossiped or um did this to me in the house. But you don't have to make them look bad to make me look good. I I will always look good and I always shine bright because um God has a plan for me. I don't like it when. I mean, I know we do a lot of defending. Defending, let's go hard. Let's go crazy on that one. I understand. But don't just say things about people unprovoked. I don't like that. Because that's what other people do. They always pull me down to make their fave look good. And if you ever have to do that in your life to pull people down to make yourself look good, that means you're not good anyways. So don't ever feel a need to say if you're going to mention my name, don't mention anyone else's name. And it breaks my heart even more if you have my picture or my name as a username and you're saying something bad about somebody else. Because no matter how terrible that person is, we have no business letting them know or emphasizing that or highlighting that. It's fine. Karma will handle that. We, we have no business in doing that. The only thing we're trying to do is just do the best we can to make a, a world a better place. Spread some positivity. Don't involve yourself in any negativity. We have no business with that. People can say whatever they want to say. At the end of the day, I'm going to be successful. You know what I mean? I'm going to get where I'm supposed to. No amount of trolling or hate is ever going to take that away from me. So, I understand now, I mean, sometimes I see comments where I'm like, hell no. Like, what the hell? And I want to respond, but I'm like, oh, man, it's not worth it. Now, this is one thing I love about Kosi. She knowing that, okay, these people are trolling me. These people are putting me down. But she's encouraging her fans not to be that same people. Like, I mean, what's the difference between you and that person that's con constantly putting me down if you keep doing the same thing? Yes, go all out, you know, defend me and all that. But don't, you know, come at people unprovoked. Stop the whole competition, comparing. See, I'm still going to win no matter the trolling. I'm still going to get where I need to get to no matter what these guys are saying or no matter what these trolls are doing. And if there is something I love about Kosi that's you know that her can do spirits is one thing i love about her you know yes you know she's human i mean seeing some of the people trolling her and everything like that sometimes she will want to respond but she has come to the realization you know what anybody that's going to be talking about me you know is behind me and i'm in front of the person because i mean i'm the only person this guy sees you know that's why they always have to talk about me this is good i mean her success is not you know um dependent on all these trolls and all these people that keep you know um running their mouth here and there i love it for her and at the end of the day like i said you know she preached love and light which is good but we'll have fans here that is the wahala in there we'll have fans actually listen to her well we will see but then again like she said if they come for her then i mean her fans are free to defend now um it looks like most of your faves will be in nigeria come on the 20th of this month yes why because of the anvcas already blue ava tabang tatsi are in nigeria already and um tabang met with the king of fashion herself that is tiana and if tiana comes into your styling like i said you know when um blue ava met her it's not casual it has to be for a red carpet event and i'm thinking it's because of the amvcas yes so it's going to be an interesting event some of your big brother faves are going to present awards um someone actually told me that kosi might be presenting an award 
Um, I'm not sure of that. So let's see if she will be in Nigeria or not. I do not know. But I'm sure that most of your big brother faves are going to be presenting awards. Like as it's always been, you know, with the AMVCAs. I'm actually very excited about it because it's going to be a night of, you know, fashion and all things beautiful. And we're going to see some people wear some very ridiculous things. Anyways, that's about it, guys. Thank you so very much for being part of my channel if you have not yet subscribed what exactly are you waiting for kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video until i come your way again i remain your darling girl is in new williams have yourself a beautiful wonderful day ahead